applications are probably closer to these days. I mean, in, I mean, obviously, if we go beyond physics, because they still get supplied in physics, right? Yeah. But if you start uh, getting into less strictly defined setups, like in biological setups or social setups or ecological setups, it becomes uh, harder, and that's where the research frontier lies. How to get these methods, which we understand more or less in physics, and translate it, uh, apply it at least with some uh, rigor in a quantitative way, not hand wavy way, but in a quantitative way to natural sciences like biology or chemistry, <coughs> and uh, even to social sciences. To, and to better explain how these these more complex uh, yeah basically the, that's that's the main question can you predict can you predict uh, tipping points can you predict how human behavior or even virus behavior in an evolving uh, setup would lead to a particular outcome